Welcome back. In a fast-paced industry with incredibly talented artists churning out heat after heat, staying commercial enough for you to make a daily bread can be the major focus as time passes. However, some artists have decided that no matter the course that follows, they stay true to their own unique brand of music and watch themselves shine. And one of such incredibly talented ladies' favorite and the men, the men don't like to admit it, singer, songwriter, mixer, producer is Johnny Drill. And we have the honor of having him join us this morning on Breakfast Central. Good to have you, Johnny. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. appreciate this. Johnny, you are an all-round, you know, musician. Today we're yes, looking at the journey of... I like of... the sound of that. <laughs> Absolutely, it's the truth. We're looking at the journey of becoming an all-round musician. You are a singer, songwriter, producer, um, sound engineer. Sound engineer. I don't know if I'm leaving anything out. <laughs> oh, oh, all-round great guy. Great guy. Oh, yes. All-round great guy. Uh, Take us through your journey. You know, which one came first, and how did you get to become all of this? Because we find that a lot of people sometimes are focused on one area. They're either a singer, or they're songwriters, or they're mixers or producers. But you seem to be able to do all of that. Which came first, and how has the journey been so far from where you started till now? I, I think I think the so, so I think I started singing first um, because I started from church like pretty much everyone else. Um, but I think I really started to to get interested in 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 music production, and that kind of informed my decision to become a musician professionally. Um, for whatever reason, I, I do find the, the the musician side of me, the sound engineer, the producer side of me, um, you know, the, the the easier part in a sense, um, because it's more technical, and I, I I like technical stuff. I like to to I like to do technical stuff, especially the the the, the background stuff with music, making music. But I also love being an artist. Um, so definitely. The, the singing side started first, but production just makes it all better. Oh, can't imagine that. Production makes it all better. Now, I mean, you've admitted in some interviews previously that you did try your hands on multiple genres before getting here. How did you yes. know you found your sound? Um, I, I, I think for me, it, it just felt right. It just felt right. And aside that, it, it came naturally to me. Um, um, I, I know I was doing quite a lot of genres at a time. I was doing at, at some point I tried to rap. Which did you do hip hop? Sad. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> did it, oh, I don't know oh. what I was thinking. I I tried high life. Um, I was just trying different things, but it just it didn't feel right. It it didn't come naturally to me until you know I I started to do alternative folk music, and you know it it all came together. And and even like a good confirmation was when I put the songs out. People love them, and I, I don't think I need any more confirmation to know that this was the music for me, and you know that's that's been it for me ever since. All right, Johnny, you've just mentioned about you know your journey into finding your own genre of music, which is alternative. Now, first of all, congratulations on all your awards, past awards, and Thank more you. more recently your your nominations by the head. You've been nominated for best R&B album before we fall asleep, best recording of the year, Loving Is Harder, best vocal performance, Male. Um, loving is harder best r and album before we fall asleep how does that make you feel and does it feel some type of way that you were nominated more for r and as opposed to alternative um i mean to, to be honest um so I, I i believe that the the category categorizations usually come um are, are influenced by the singles you put out and the single we put out the first one loving is harder was very r and ish so th th that's understandable i think for me as an artist there, especially with the album Before We Fall Asleep, there was a lot of R&B influence. Um, so I don't, I don't think that it is um, unusual for them to have classified the, the project as R&B. But of course, I'm not an R&B artist. Um, and I, I really feel excited that I was nominated. I think altogether, I probably have like 10 Hedy's nominations in my lifetime so far. <laughs> um, I do hope that, you know, I mean, of course, I've, I've been nominated alongside all amazing artists. Um, I do hope I win, but maybe best best man win. But right, it does. We're rooting for you, Johnny. You, you do hope you yes. win. I'm sure everyone as well is rooting <laughs> for you to win. But I mean, it's a Friday, and what does Johnny Drill do on a Friday? Besides questions, uh, we've we've got some top three questions. I want to run through you very quickly. Are you ready yes. for the questions? Of course, of course. Question one: When is Johnny Drill going to get married? <laughs> Answer. <laughs> um, in time. 
in Indian Thai. Thai. <laughs> Question two: Does Johnny Drill have a girlfriend? Answer. <laughs> wow. No. No. So he's single, ladies. <laughs> Question three: When last did Johnny Drill kiss a lady? Yo, I was not a party um, to this. <laughs> Why are you asking me these questions? What? It's the I'm top like, three questions on, back on back. the... It's just back to back, like... Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's a poll, it's the top three questions for you, I mean... It's not my fault, uh, I'm just the messenger, I'm just passing the questions. Like, you know? Yeah, right. Last time I kissed the girl was pretty recently. <laughs> That's a very nice and one. And he does not have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> No comments. Johnny, let's talk about something that, you know, caught my eye. It was the video that the whole Maven team put together, or for the most part, most of the Maven team. Yeah. That's the yeah. song Overdose. And we saw a lot of your fellow Maven crew or Maven artists. We only saw Rema's vehicle. Since Rema is not here to defend himself, <laughs> we would have asked him what his vehicle was doing there and why he wasn't in the video. But I'll be asking you, why weren't you in the video? Well, you, you just haven't looked enough. I'm actually there. I'm, really? I'm, no, Johnny's I'm, messing with our minds. I'm, I'm there for like a split second, but of course I'm not in the song. Um, so I uh, may even turn 10 this year. And, um, you know, it's been, there's a whole bunch of things lined up um, in celebrating the 10th anniversary. And one of it is the Maven at 10 project. Um, so Overdose was just the first song from that project. There's more music coming, there's more songs coming from the Maven at 10 project. And I'm definitely going to be in uh, a couple of those. So uh, fingers crossed, looking forward to that. Uh, but I, I think I think for that particular song, it couldn't have everybody. It couldn't have me and Rema. Um, but the future one's definitely coming. We look forward to seeing all that. Now, Johnny, yeah. I know that you were as you worked all night for the most part. People see the glitz and the glam and all the yeah. beautiful music that you put out, but they don't get to see the behind the scenes. Tell us some of the yeah. price you've had to pay, staying true to your art. What are some of, some of, some of the sacrifices, really, that you've had to make? Yeah. Um, I think that every Nigerian musician kind of share at least some semblance of the same story um, in that you, 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 you don't just go all the way to the top. You don't go all the way up there. You just, just don't blow. Um, you know, this, 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 we all had to pay that sacrifice for me. Um, you know, I wasn't originally based in Lagos. I was coming all the way from, I used to be in Benin. I used to make music from there. Um, I'd have to travel almost every week to Lagos to come do interviews because I wanted more people to discover my music. I know for the longest time, I, I used to squat with a friend at Ogba in Ikeja. Um, and you know, I think I squatted with like two or three different people. At some point, I, I started to stay in like really, really, really cheap hotels. In Ikeja, I remember one time, one, <laughs> one, one, one of those times I used to pay five, four thousand naira for one hotel, and it was really bad. Um, the water was running. They used to have like shifts when they turned the lights on. Um, you know, I, I had to do. I didn't even really have money at the time, but it, I, I wanted, I, I was willing to sacrifice, and you know, just to get my music heard. I remember one time I, I, I was paid my first ever fee. I was paid in Lagos to perform was 20,000 naira. And out of that 20,000 naira, I had to transport myself from Benin to Lagos and, and get to a hotel and transport inside of Lagos. Mm. At the end of the day, I probably left with like 2,000 naira of profit. But um, looking back, I think it was all worth it. You know, it's, it's some of those things that kind of shape you up to become the, the musician, to become resilient. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank right. you so all much. Right. You know, it's, it's important, Joe, that we share these stories because yeah. And it helps us see the journey where people are coming from and appreciate that, like they say, Rome was not built in a day. Or in this case, Johnny Drew wasn't built in a day. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much for being here, Johnny Drew. But before you go, you, so much, uh, you might want to serenade the ladies a bit who sent uh, in those questions for you. Um, well, I definitely know one was, you know what? <clears throat> Johnny, calm down. I'll be so far away. Promise you'll wait for me. I go think of you every day, my love. I may not come today, but I'll be with you again. I go to pray for you every day, my love.
Thank you very much, Johnny. Thank you for serenading us and starting off our weekend on a good note. Congratulations on all your award nominations by the head. Is we're rooting for you and hoping that when you win, you come back on the show again. And congrats Absolutely. on your album before Anytime. we fall asleep. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. All right.